lesson I have learned randomly in motherhood is um, to stop giving people advice regardless in which area of their lives or regardless on where they're stuck or um, not going forward or not seeing solutions and instead of giving people advice I have learned um, to hold a space for them what do I mean with holding space holding space starts with um, someone comes to you with a situation they can't break through or they're still stuck somewhere what you do is you hold space for them number one you listen you you listen without judgment because if you give advice that means you're actually mingling into the this person's situation you are wanting to fix it you're wanting to make it better you're wanting to give them a solution which actually they also want in the end but like i told you um this is a self-love journey where it is about the individual the other person is growing in this situation but i am also gaining from from me helping them okay we are both growing both parties are growing so it is about the self and i believe if someone is stuck and they come to me i definitely will also get stuck somewhere and i will get to them or to another person okay <sighs> i'm out of breath sorry so if each and everybody learns to hold space for the other just imagine holding space if you come to me and and i'm holding space for you and you've got a safe place to explain yourself and how beautiful would that be and when when i get a problem i go to another person or when i can't see through something i go to another person and they hold space for me okay again let's go back to the point holding space um listening without giving my judgment very very um important and letting them know number one i am here i am here for you okay and i am allowing you to have each and every experience you're having right now i am letting you have that experience without my intervention okay if it's crying i will you will cry and i will all i will do right there and then is maybe to give you a hug maybe um to let you know that i'm here okay i'm just here maybe sitting just next to you um that, that's that's what i can give right now okay not adding on um it's all right it's going to be all right okay stop crying no that's not holding space holding space is sitting down next to a person who is crying for example and just telling them it's all right to cry if this is the experience if the experience is bringing you um, to this point to cry it out then do that i'm right here i'm sitting next to you i'm holding your hand or i'm just listening to whatever you're telling me about how you feel okay so through that you're letting them experience whatever feeling um they they, they are feeling right there they are just leaving it they're just letting it out okay so um the other thing about holding space for someone is um, you get to create a safe space for them okay to let them know you can tell me whatever it is i am here and like i said i am not going to tell you what to do okay because in most important um situations when people get to you or when people come to you you can't actually do anything about it and you shouldn't you shouldn't we we are raised in a generation or we were raised in a society where we think each and everybody who comes to us sad or nervous or anxious about a situation we have to fix it we have to give them answers we have to find the solution mm difference sometimes the solution is just being there sometimes the solution is just letting the other person face what they're facing but you letting them know i'm here okay i'm here i'm just a hug away i'm just a um i can squeeze your hand when you need it or when you need me um but i'm not going to decide for you what you're going to do about what you what you're going through okay so but society has taught us we have to fix it we have to tell them it's all right you have to quote scriptures for them you have um to tell them let's pray 
which is the, all these are beautiful things okay but there are situations where um we just have to let people be okay give them the safe, safe space to express themselves to express their feelings okay another thing with giving advice is um you are letting this person know um that maybe they have done certain things wrong okay and i believe when a certain person comes to you or a friend they don't really want to hear that okay in the beginning i'm not saying don't tell them they have done something wrong but um they actually know already okay if it's if it's a situation where they have made decisions or bad decisions that are now bringing in consequences they actually do know okay that they've done something wrong okay so you don't need to confirm that mm -mm, you don't okay you don't need to quote scripture on how to correct that many times they know okay if we are in a situation where it's a believer to a believer you don't necessarily have to tell them there and then where they're going to tell you or where they're going to entrust you with what is bothering them it's a wrong thing to just come up with a scripture. I know the scripture is going to help you on the first day of, hey, I'm going through this and this. You don't want to do that, okay? You don't want to do that. I'm not telling you not to pray for them. I'm not telling you not to quote uh, or to speak scripture in their life, but maybe not necessarily on the, on the first day they entrust you or they think you're the best person to, to come up to and tell, hey, I'm going through this and this, okay? so back to holding space okay so while i'm finishing just remember holding space is listening and giving someone your full attention your undivided attention of i am here i am listening without necessarily um having the feeling to put in your opinion regardless of how valid your opinion might be in that situation okay maybe you've really got the answer but um <laughs> excuse me holding space is not about having all the answers to someone's problems many case in many cases we have the answers inside here okay like i said if it's a believer to a believer you you can really hold space um through praying for them okay you can just say a little prayer right there and then after they have talked you through their situation you can say a little prayer of comfort but you go, when you go home or when you return to you alone you can really pray for them okay you can then quote the scriptures to well not to god but to you okay um you can speak scriptures into their life okay that will also help you in another way that you, you you held space for them in front of them you spoke or you said a little prayer okay for them to go home comfortably for them to calm down but you also went into your space and you talked to god about their situation okay you expressed your feelings or maybe you even told god i have this and this solution for that okay because your scripture says this and this about the situation and it's a very good thing because actually you you doing that okay going before god on their behalf without them being there okay you you were just telling god i am i entrust you with this situation and i also entrust you with this situation because i know you're going to give me a a more greater answer than i thought i had okay like we said regardless of how valid your opinion for that case or for that situation is you don't say it right there and then to your friend or to whoever came and entrusted you with that okay we go to god god gives us better answers that we than we thought we had and then he guides us on what to do next okay yes guys that's what i've learned or well, that's one of the lessons that I, that motherhood has taught me stop giving advice hold space for the other <laughs> thank you bye